We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at this. And what this is from the minds of Marachan, it is a Fireball. Fireball Ramen, new. And uh, I will say it is new, because I just barely happened across this at the grocery store the other day. I've never seen it before. And we have spicy beef. They didn't have any other flavor, so. I uh, can see we have some flames. Product is very hot. This refers to temperature, but this actually appears on the text here as well. So they're really concerned about how hot this is in a temperature sense. So let's see here. So this is uh, saying throw. We have throw the lid away and. Let's see, remove lid, two packets, uh, blah, 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 blah. So we throw it in there for three minutes and that's it. Okay. So uh, we're not going to do that, of course. We're going to let it sit a little bit longer than that, as usual. This time I'm going to actually make it though, so you guys can see it all. Dehydrated vegetable pack, and we have a pepper pack as well. And let's see what we have here. Oh, I see a habanero. So habanero might be the heat source. So I don't think this is going to be anywhere near as hot. This is paper. We can actually leave this on. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near as hot as the Samyangs. And you can see this is, uh, no, awesome. yeah, we're going to throw that away. All right, a little line for the noodles. And... that in a second and the flavor packet all right so what we're gonna do is let's have a look at this here I like to look at this before I use it make sure there's nothing objectionable in there and I didn't see anything in the ingredients I think that's just parsley that's a lot of flavoring holy moly look at that it's a mountain of flavoring all right so what I do first is I sift it sift it in and then what I will do is I will just cover the noodles. Okay. That's it. A lot more than that. After that, we throw it in the microwave. Three minutes. And uh, we'll come back once it is finished sitting and thinking about what it's done. All right, and we are back and still have a little bit more liquid in there than I normally would want. But... See, these don't take the four minutes. These are only three minutes, and they're all soft and the way you would generally expect. And going everywhere. I'm just getting a little quick stir here. All right. Let's see what we got. Now, I'm not expecting these to be super spicy or anything. This is not a great flavor. Ugh. March on is um there's always a, what I feel is like a cheapness to their noodles. And um I think that's what we're running into here. They're not... 
they're in this, I'd say they're probably a default one, but they're in this really odd category where I don't know that I would ever want to get them again. But I don't think that they need additional uh, flavoring or heat either. The level is fine, and the flavor is uh, not great. Certainly, I've had worse. Instant noodles, I mean, how much can you expect out of them? They're uh, very flavored though. That mountain of flavoring definitely is pretty prominent. <laughs> it's not very good flavor. But, I don't think I've ever had a, either a beef soup or a beef ramen that I thought was, I just, I just prefer other things, I guess. He did like a pork or a chicken, maybe. The rest is just the soup base, which I don't know if I can show you that without dumping it. So the rest is just the soup base. Yeah, I'd say default one. It's got a nice back heat to it a little bit. I'm almost tempted to give this a legit one, but I don't think it's quite hot enough for that. It's right on the border, though. Definitely is. Most of the spicy stuff that you see for ramen isn't. I think this one definitely is, but it's nowhere near like the crazy Korean ones, any of the Sam Yangs or any of those other ones. It's it's definitely mass market, mass market uh, spicy, but it, it definitely is probably the spiciest of the spicy sort of ones that you'd see on the grocery store shelves, like the normal grocery store shelves, without going to a specialty store. So... I mean, it's respectable, I guess. Flavor is no bueno, though. Definitely, I'm going to be looking to see if they have the fire roll and other flavors. I've only seen the, the beef, but I, I would not get that again. That was not uh, not pleasant, particularly. So, but anyway, there you have it. The Mario Chan Fire Bowl Spicy Beef. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.